we don't want to ignore the last game. You know, we try to put it to rest uh, usually on Sunday. And, um, you know, as a, as a whole, when you went back and looked at it, uh, you know, it wasn't lack of effort. Um, you know, the kids played hard. You know, uh, you know I love, I love the, the, the guys that sit in these seats in here. I can tell you that. Uh, they got a lot of toughness, a lot of grit to them. And, 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 I, and again, I love those guys uh, for the efforts they give. They never quit. And, um, you know, did we make enough plays offensively or defensively? No. But you know, to go out there, um, sit in a dungeon uh, locker room for an hour and a half or two hours, whatever it was, I, you know, I give our kids a lot of credit because they came up um, and really played a, you know, defensively a great second half, uh, except for one play, and, and that's where it'll cost you. And then, uh, an offensively, I felt played a great first half and not as good as second half. So there's so many things that we can still correct and get better at. Um, but again, I'm going to go back and, and give Oklahoma State, you know, credit um, for what they did and how they do it. Uh, they got an obviously. A, Top 20 football program. Um, I believe they'll finish there based on the way that quarterback can throw. I think I told you last week that he was an NFL guy. And uh, then after seeing the live, I don't think there's any question. And they got some NFL wideouts and uh, big, you know, big 12 you know, wide receivers that uh, that can get up and go. And you know, you know, there's things that we can do better on defensively, not only fundamentally but structurally. And, and, and that's why we coach. So uh, you know, with that. You know, North Carolina, we get to go travel down there, 3.30 game against a great football team that was a coastal champion a year ago. Uh, they don't lose much uh, either way. I mean, the quarterback graduated, but they've got four of the five offensive line in the back. Elijah Hood is a great tailback. We know switches out there, the receiver. And Mitch Trubisky, a kid from Meadow Lake Catholic, often, you know, uh, when he was a senior out of high school, he's a great player. I mean, a really good, really, really, really great player. Uh, and, uh, you know, I got a lot of respect for him. Because, you know, he's played a little bit last year. And has three games under his belt. He's very efficient running the offense. Uh, and then defensively, you know, Gene Chizik, and, uh, you know, always does a great job. Uh, they're athletic. I think Stewart and Warts are the two corners that are lockdown guys. They'll hold you a little bit out there, but they're on you. Uh, very well coached. Very athletic. Uh, you know, they got two deep tackles. Uh, you know, Jones and, and Mark Kidd, good players, and then two, you know, good linebackers, Smith and, and Collins, are their, their guys. The bell cows uh, on that side of the ball. So they're very athletic on defense. Probably blitz a little bit more than he did a year ago. Uh, and uh, so it heated up a little bit there. But he's a, uh, you know, we know Gene Chizik's a great football coach. You know, I think Larry's got a lot to do with the offense, being that they've got new offense coordinators and the offense looks exactly like uh, what we saw a year ago. Uh, so uh, it's a, it'll be a great challenge to go down there, the Coastal Division champion a year ago. That's, you know, that's our goal. That's where we want to be. And, and the first ACC team you're playing is the best one in that division. So uh, it'll certainly be a, a great challenge. Uh, and uh, you know, we look forward to going down there. So questions? You talked about uh, 